everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Mikoto Nikki, which literally means Mikoto's Diary. Um, so yeah, when we left off, we started digging through her stuff, and I don't know what all I can really do, but I think this is actually... Yeah, this is where we can go. A syringe is lying on the floor. There's nothing in the drawer. There's a book in the drawer. Oh god, what am I doing? It's empty. There's some medicine inside. Several syringes. It's a plant. What's happening? Wardrobe with a mirror. Bunch of emergency goods. Sure. Men's suit and shirt, because these belong to Mikoto's dad. I didn't realize this was going to happen. I don't know what I was thinking, but they said come to the garden. There's a trash can here. A bunch of kitten reuses inside. There's a red flower. I don't know what kind it is. Pink flower. Seems to be taken care of quite nicely. Well-maintained flower. Inside the dirt, there's a torn diary scrap. It's not like anyone's ever going to understand me. I... Study, study, study all the time, and I think I might have gone just a little bit crazy. What am I doing? I'm sorry, what? There's a red flower here. Did she turn her parents into plants? I feel like she did. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That's all I know, is I'm gonna die. Is that for here? No, okay. Where am I going? Why do I have a flashlight? I'm confused, okay. Come to the entrance. My figure! That- that wasn't there before. My figure? You- you still doing okay? Mitaro, it's almost ready. Unless you just can't wait anymore. I- I didn't know this was gonna be a thing. Uh, let's say nothing. What's up? You're looking kind of scary. Are you not feeling well? Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? Don't push yourself too hard. Oh, um, Mataro? You know, I think I might really like you. Is that okay with you? Of course, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. Just kidding. That was all a joke. Just pretend it never happened. Though I might like to hear your answer later on. Wait, what? This isn't how it's supposed to go. You're the one who confessed to me. Huh? <laughs> what? Yes, Mataro? Hold her hand. M mataro what is it? I I've never um, had my hand squeezed like that before. And by a boy at that, th th this is, um, well, I'm kind of embarrassed. I don't want to let go. Uh, that really surprised me, you know. I didn't know you were so mature. Mataro, thanks. I think I'm glad you did that. Oh. Oh. Did I do good? I don't know if I did good or not. I'm trying to give her a change of heart is what I'm trying to do. But I don't know. I I'm saving in so many different slots right now. Okay, so what do we have now then? There's just the my figure lights up dark places. Where was dark? Um... Hmm... I love how you're still waiting for her to finish making food. Even though all of this is happening. Lights up dark places. Um... I don't think there's anything dark. Besides, you know, Mikoto's soul.
Medicine, empty. Yeah, I don't know. I got the flashlight for some reason. But now I can't even talk to Mikoto. Which is weird. <clears throat> but I think I did good. I think that she's happy and that's a really good thing that makes somebody. But where do I go? Cupboard for shoes, yeah. Um... Hmm... Is there something under her mat? No. We can't use a computer. Various books, okay. We can't go through her trash can, or not her trash can, but her closet. Yet we can sniff her bed. Oh wait, attached to the back of this mirror? A torn diary scrap. How did I not see that? I felt like I've checked everything. Okay, let's just go for it. Today I invited Yukimata over for a special treat. I whipped him up a batch of my best food. He said it was delicious. I was so happy. Of course, I thought about making my special peach tea, but Yukimata seemed a bit different, so I made muscat tea instead. He kept asking me what was in my closet, which made me angry. I was so scared of what would happen, but he wouldn't let up. What a meanie. I thought he would understand, though, so I just left him alone. Yukimaru's gone now. Strange medicine. Here we go. Yep. Break, 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 break. Uh-huh. When was it? Huh? At the calendar? As I flip the page, something falls out of it. The, the, the places where she hides all these diary entries are blowing my mind. It's insane. My fault? Is it my fault? Whenever I'm around, everyone's unhappy. I'll just stop. I'll stop, 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 stop getting involved with any, any, anyone. If I stopped, if I stopped, it would all be better. Uh-huh. My birthday is the key. If you really care about me, you'll understand, right? My birthday is the key? Okay. Uh, is it this? No. Your birthday is the key. Is that for the computer? Yeah, it looks like a three-digit password. Maybe let's try it. No. No, we're not gonna ask her for it. We're gonna ask her what her birthday is, though. If we can talk to her. Ah, Matoro, what should I do? I am- I think I might have messed up the food. I'm sorry, I even got your hopes up and I- I wanna cry. It's okay. Huh? You forgive me? M Mataro, thank you. I'm really sorry. But I'll start doing it over right now. I really want you to taste my cooking. When's her birthday? Huh? My birthday? Oh, let me guess. You wanna celebrate it? <laughs> that makes me happy. Alright then, I'll do you a favor and just this once tell you. Mikoto was born on April 27th. Keep it a secret from everyone else. No, I don't I don't need to do that. I didn't hit that. Okay. April 27th. Got it. Hmm. What's sad is since I'm nice to her, she seems like a sweet person, you know? Okay, April 27th. Four, two, seven. Okay, signing in. My name is Takashiki Mikoto. Why is Mikoto bl blacked out? I live with my mom and dad. My dad's a businessman, a really, really plain one at that. He's so incredibly average, it's scary. He plainly found a job, plainly fell in love, and plainly got married. Plainly cheats on his wife, plainly goes out in his daily life. In other words, he's just a normal, completely unextraordinary father. My mom works too. She's not around too much. She makes more than my dad. She won't tell me what she does. I think she tries to stay out of the house as long as possible to avoid dad's drunken rampages. I know how she feels. I really wish I could run away too, but if I left, I doubt dad would even be able to feed himself. Okay. I'm keeping a diary. I think the true value of a diary comes from when someone else reads it. Right now, you're reading the thoughts that I have never shown to others. I think I wrote this because I wanted someone to help me. 
I'm currently keeping the two under surveillance. They seem to have changed quite a bit since last week. They resisted at first, but now they're actually afraid of me. I cook their food. I don't give them chopsticks. They eat with their hands. I tell them that's just the way we do things around here. I tried teaching them something. After all, teaching people helps me improve as well. Neither of them took it seriously at all. They didn't pay much attention to what I said. You're a demon child, they yelled at me. So I punished them. I let them go a week without any food. When I went to check up on them, Dad was dead and Mom was wasting away. She no longer had the energy to cry or even glare at me. When I called out to her, she didn't respond. I was trembling on my bed. I was scared and thinking that I might have gone past the point of no return. I... Looks like it ends here. Looking closer, something stuck to the bottom of the keyboard. How do you look at the bottom of your keyboard? You don't look closer at it. There's no turning back now. You want to know my secret, don't you? I'll tell you. Just open the door. It's open. Um. Let's just say it's the exit, shall we? Let's just go ahead and run. No. <laughs> Why do you worry about her making food for you so much? Can I talk to you at all? Nope, okay. I think she's still happy. But something's about to happen. We're about to- we're about to hit an ending. Closet door seems to be open. It's pitch black inside. I can't even see what's at my feet. It might be best if I have something to light it up before going inside. Yep, let's do it. Inside the closet. Whew. Lying inside the closet are several unidentifiable corpses. <clears throat> Examine more closely. A thick stench pervades the air inside the closet. It smells like a mixture of garbage and vomit. The corpses have no externally visible wounds. Did they starve to death? There's one female and two males. Okay, they must be Mikoto's mother, father, and likely Yukimaru. I think I probably should just pretend like I never saw any of this. She's gonna be there. What are you doing, Mataro? I'm pretty sure I asked you not to go in my room. So you saw it, huh? My secret. Mataro, are you shaking? It was hard for me, you know. Will you listen to what I have to say? Yeah. Thanks. Well, when I was little, I wasn't the kind of girl who could do anything I can like I am now. The old me was nothing like what people think I am. I was the kind of girl that everyone wanted to bully. I looked really shabby. I was always super gloomy, and I was dumb and easily fooled. Even mom and dad gave up on me. You really can't do anything, they told me over and over, day after day. I tried hard. I tried really, really hard. Even though my friends and teachers were already at a, uh, were already a lost cause, I didn't want my parents to throw me away. After a lot of hard work, I eventually got to where I am today. The old me no longer existed. I had thrown it away by changing myself. I changed everything about me, both my attitude and appearance to become bright and cheery. I was loved by everyone. No one would bully me anymore. That's what I thought, but mom and dad still wouldn't accept me. They still didn't understand me. Even though I worked so hard, they still wouldn't accept me. They wouldn't accept me. So I thought maybe I should try giving them a proper upbringing. I thought if I worked my butt off to raise them right with plenty of love, they would become good kids. So I took care of mom and dad every day. I gave it my best every single day. I made so much yummy food for them. There would eventually be a day where they would come around to understand me. I truly believe that. But I messed up. Mom and Dad went cold. It was almost as if they stopped breathing altogether. There was no point to it anymore. I was beginning to wonder if there was even a point in living anymore. But then, Yukimaru showed up. He told me he liked me, so I thought maybe he'd be able to understand me. But Yukimaru found out about my secret and it scared him. He tried to run away and I caught him. I had a feeling that things were going to get out of hand. It was scary, so I got Yukimaru to stay here with me. Forever, like mom and dad. Mataro, are you going to run away too? Uh, I'm going to hug her. I'm going to hug her. Huh? Mataro, what are you doing? I... 
I'm a murderer. If you stay with me, you're probably going to end up getting killed. You're not going to run away? Mataro? Mataro, I really screwed up big time. What should I do? If I lost you, I'd be all alone again. And then, then, I think I'd end up where mom, dad, and Yukimaru are. I have to see them again so I can apologize. I have to. Are you telling me I can't? Forgive her. You forgive me? Mataro, you're going to forgive me? Mataro, I'm a bad girl. I just wanted mom and dad to praise me. I just wanted them to tell me I was a smart for working so hard, and that's all I wanted. How did it turn out this way? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mikoto was crying. I'd stayed silent, simply holding her tight. I wonder if, in that moment, I was able to give her the true understanding she so desired. I stayed with her the whole time. I figured time would heal her heart. Were you wrong? Or not? Oh my god, she's so cute! Hey look! Mataro, look, it's snowing! Oh I know, let's make a snowman! I used to have a lot of fun making snowmen and igloos back in the day. Every day, I would stay out playing until it got dark. My hands and feet would be so cold. But warming my hands by holding them near the stove was the best feeling in the world. I was always playing by myself though. I really wanted to have a snowball fight with someone too. But now I have you to play with. <laughs> I'm not lonely anymore now that you're here. After that, Mikoto bawled her eyes out. Day after day, she kept crying. I never gave up on her, to make sure she didn't kill herself. I was always by her side. And then, it finally came. First winter since we met. Mikoto was slowly regaining her happiness. I was able to see her smiling face again. I... I'll make you happy. I gazed at Mikoto's happy, smiling face for a long time. Yay! Oh! Awesome! Oh, I love it! I love it! That was so good! Oh, man! I don't know, I, I'm sure some of you guys are like, whatever, there's no way you would act like that, but I really would! I mean, like, yeah, I would be terrified if there were bodies in the closet, but, like, I get where she's coming from. And I'm not saying that, like, I'm a twisted, crazy killer person, at least I hope I'm not, but it's one of those things where she wanted to be accepted, she wanted to be loved, and if you don't give her that, then how do you expect her to change? You know, like when 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 uh, we held her hand and she had that like genuine reaction of like nobody's ever held my hand before. That's when I knew when the hug option came that I was going to give her a big old hug because that's what she wants. You know, she just she just wanted to be accepted and people make mistakes. And obviously starving your parents to death would be a bad thing. That looks a little creepy, but this is a true ending. So we, we did what was good. We saw past the bad we saw the person who was hurting inside and we we move forward you know and i think that's the best thing that you could do now granted i could go back through and do the absolute worst stuff possible you know confront her about her diary do all these things but i don't know i just i really like the way that wrapped up you know and maybe there's something else in between Mikoto Niki and the full Boko Yochien, where the dad leaves or is killed. But at this point in time, it looks like they were happy together. You know, he did what he could. At least he gave her a child and she cares very much about her child. You know? I don't know, just something to think about. But either way, that is Mikoto Niki. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.